How many of you guys feel like it was just yesterday that I posted the ultimate baby surprise? We're gonna have a baby. Time is flying so fast. It's almost scary. <sighs> but, oh dude, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. What are you doing in there? Huh? So it's almost 8 a.m. on a weekday morning, and I am not in a car driving to work. Instead, I'm in our kitchen in my PJs making pancakes. I am so excited to be staying home from work. We have less than two weeks, so like 13 days until our baby girl is due, and it's so nice to not have to drive to work. I get to work from home from now until the baby comes which means I get to make breakfast in the morning. Oh, rise and shine, Mr. Corey. It's another beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska. The skies are blue, the plants are green, and there's a moose peeing in our backyard. And we are off. Time to go do lots of errands. First stop is the vet for Sparta. Yeah, unfortunately Sparta, we think he's got a urinary tract infection because he's starting to like, pee in weird places that he shouldn't yeah. and so yeah it's not spraying it's like full out peeing Peen. yeah. yeah it's the only over. thing that makes sense like his litter box is clean we got another litter box just to see if that would help and nothing's helping it's it's like he's peeing near the litter box but not in it yeah and then after that i've got to get my uh my it's my it's, it's my last appointment at the uh, chiropractor and yeah. I get to get my final exam, which is gonna be cool. It's the before and after. I think you'll pass. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to sit, sit up straight. My biggest problem is my neck was like forward. I can't, I can't really do it. I'm just kind of- so tall. Well, yeah, that too. I have a big <laughs> head and it just weighs down. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Pooh. Aw. <laughs> okay. Where are you taking me, Dad? I know, right? Oh boy. Poor guy. He really does not like the vet. No. It's not that like anything really bad happens to him. It's just a different environment. Yeah. That's really what it is. Oh man. So uh, the uh, nurse came in to, is it nurse? You still say nurse? Yeah, vet tech. Yeah, vet tech. She came in to check on Sparta and um, just weighing and stuff like that. He gets in his bag and he starts like trying to pee. So no. It's you like, okay, wanted to. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So I'm gonna try to daddy catch some pee in case he pees, because we actually need a urine sample. Yep. We'll see if we can get one. All right, Sparta is now getting poked and prodded. I feel so bad for the guy. I really do. There is a really good chance that, that he's got like some sort of crystallization happening in his bladder or something. Yeah, they're gonna do blood work and a urine sample and see what's up. Yeah, so now we're off to the chiropractor. We're going to yeah. Arctic Chiropractic for my final exam. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, I'm so excited. You look a little nervous. I'm not nervous. <laughs> just look at this guy. He looks like he's just chilling. Like. I know, that's like the swag. Like that's how you, <laughs> you stand if you're cool. Everybody that stands cool like this. Yeah, you gotta get the knees they're up. They're gonna have like really bad backs when they're older. <laughs> and this guy, look, he's just like, I know, perfect. He's a stiff. So it usually takes about six to eight months to improve posture. Mm -hmm. We're consistently doing the right things, okay? So we did make some significant improvements on here, but you still have some work to do to okay. be where you need to be. So, um, so my head has lost weight. Because yes. <laughs> originally my head was 56.6 .6 pounds, now it is only 42.5 pounds. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Awesome. You less of a fat head now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job. Yeah, you good job. <laughs> He's the one working on me. It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, it's very interesting, all of this stuff. Yeah, like I honestly, when I when I started doing this, I was like, I don't know, how much is this really going to help me? You know, because yeah, right? you think chiropractor, oh, they're just like, it's like popping your fingers. But it's not. <laughs> it's It really isn't. It, no, it actually makes a difference. It's very interesting, yeah. You mm -hmm. definitely stand up straighter and sit straighter. Mm -hmm. It's good. I can breathe. That's important. Oh, you beautiful place. You beautiful, beautiful stop town. I love this it. place. I love Eagle River. No, it's... it should stop. It's just too beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should stop. Oh, this is embarrassing. Corey just went into Walgreens to get a drink, and I am sitting in the car with Sparta. And I dropped my phone, 
and I can't pick it up. So it's right there. Like it's right by my foot, right? See it? I can't. I can't reach it. <laughs> Just have to wait till he comes back. I need help. What? What happened? I dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. <laughs> hey buddy, how you doing? Poo poo. So this time of year we have to be really careful when we're driving home because, you know, earlier today we had the moose and our baby in our yard and they just kind of like, like the, the, the baby will just start running. Yeah, they own this place. They do, they own this place. So you gotta be real, real careful. All right, looks like they are gone. I'm just, I'm sad uh, earlier they didn't come through the yard to play in the sprinkler. I know. They went into the neighbor's yard and then they didn't come back. And I was like, oh darn. One of these days, one of these days I'll get them to play in it. Alright, big guy. You free. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, so now I just gotta keep an eye on the litter boxes. This sucks. So I don't know if I told you guys this, uh, somebody a while back sent us a trail cam and I haven't put it up. Um, I don't know why, honestly. It's just we, we weren't seeing a whole lot of uh, wildlife come through our yard, but since we've been seeing bears and moose and all sorts of things here, I thought, you know what, let's put it up. So I'm gonna go up to the tree that I put it on and see if we can actually like, I don't know, find something on it. That's a big pile of moose poop. There it is over there, stuck on that tree. Oh, actually, I should probably watch for wildlife. I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything on it. So unfortunately the settings on this camera are just way off. Like it's not recording in HD and it's only recording 10 seconds at a time. So yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna change the settings. We'll leave it here, check again in like three days. So Kristen is like the luckiest person alive, I swear to God. I like, don't know about that. Yeah. Like last year you were entering a whole bunch of like random sweepstakes. I and do like to enter my sweepstakes. I mean, come on, that was a sweepstake. We did go to the Super Bowl because of one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we? It was like our, our family, dude. I know. It was crazy. And then this comes in and it says Mint X Sweepstakes. Giveaway. Giveaway or but something. But I don't know what that is. I don't know. Well, just open it. Let's okay. see what it is. I'm Can curious. I, I'm not like you. I need scissors. Okay. We got some trash bags. I guess I did win a... <laughs> <laughs> Why? A, a what? trash bag contest. <laughs> Congratulations. You won <laughs> trash bags. You know they smell pretty good. Mm, oh, smell. What the heck? Right? That's minty. Yeah. Oh, mint X trash bags. <laughs> you won mint we trash, won bags. trash bags. Still, see, lucky. She's just so freaking lucky. <laughs> Repels raccoons and rodents with the power of mint. <laughs> I bet companies like this hate when people from Alaska win their sweepstakes. <laughs> because then they have to ship, like this is heavy. Yeah. They have to ship it all the way to Alaska. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta suck. All right, the pictures are up. Yeah? Yep. Already? Look at that. You guys like that? This is our adventure wall. Those are nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that looks so pretty. Doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. So, Aww. it makes me want to like do more. Then we've got the, uh, the bear up there. I think nice. the bear looks cool. And then right outside, over there, you can see the, uh, the lake. Pretty. Which is nice, yeah. I love it. I am proud. There is never a dull moment. I am blessed because of you, son. The world is full of wonders. Because of you, I am more patient and forgiving. Thanks, mom. I really love that. <coughs> to be fair, that was Kristen's idea. The only thing left on my to-do list before baby girl gets here is folding baby clothes. So they are all clean, like all the clothes from zero to three months. Are you ready to fold some diapers and clothes? <laughs> That's a lot. I know. Oh my god. 
So there's probably something you guys have been waiting for. You've watched this entire vlog and <laughs> nothing has happened. Nothing has been said. No. So I think we should probably say it. Go for it. You guys ready to know the name of our baby girl? Our baby girl's name will be Chell Marie Williams. Chell, C H E L L. A lot of a lot of people guessed it. A lot of yeah. people guessed it. Yeah. Um, so what does it mean? Uh, I know you guys are like, oh, Why that's cute. Chell? It is cute. Why Chell? Uh, Chell. Personally, I, as you guys know, am a huge Portal fan. I'm wearing a Portal shirt. I'm always wearing something Portal, whether it's a hat, a shirt, or even a necklace that you guys can't see. Maybe a, a just. A, I'm, I'm a big Portal fan. Or at least my eye. Yeah, her <laughs> eyes. She's got the portal eyes. But uh, Chell is the main character in Portal and Portal 2, the Portal series. And uh, I really, the reason I sold this idea to her, you know, it wasn't too hard. <laughs> it didn't take much selling, though. It's because Chell is a very powerful woman. She's powerful in the sense that uh, she's got a, a, just a really big, extreme... Um, urge to live. I mean, she, she goes through these test chambers and, and, and life at GLaDOS is throwing a whole bunch of tests at her and, and, and seemingly impossible tests, right? GLaDOS is putting her down, doing all these things and just really throwing a lot of hard tasks up in front of her. But Chell continues. She's very smart, very intelligent woman. And uh, also, I mean, she's, she's caring, compassionate, you know, even uh, in Portal 2, spoiler alert, um, you know, when, when GLaDOS is turned into a potato, she's still carrying GLaDOS around, even though GLaDOS was, you know, uh, the villain, essentially. And there's a, there's a lot more to it, but it's, it's, it's this powerful woman that did all of this without speaking a single word yep. and just had that, that, that will to live, I guess you could say. Plus she was strong. You know, strong. super strong, not afraid. She was not, she was no. fearless. I mean, jumping, you know, um, from, from big distances and, and not being afraid to think outside of the box. And, and I mean, the portals are scary, you know? Yeah. And she, so. she's basically everything, everything we would want our little girl to be, mm -hmm. all the positive attributes we would want her to have are portrayed in shell. Yeah. So it just makes sense. Yeah. And plus it's for me it's it's a cute name, Chell Marie. That's yeah. it's got a beautiful little ring to it. Why Marie? Marie is her middle name yep. and her mother's middle name. My mom's middle name. Yeah. So Kristen Marie. Yeah, my grandma's name was Mary. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's the case, but I always pretend that Marie is a form of Mary. Yeah. So yeah. We are going to fold Chell's clothes. Yep. And then tomorrow we will show you Chell's room. Chell's nursery. <laughs> it's oh, so it's, cute. Oh, it's so good to say her name finally. <laughs> chell, 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 chell. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So That's perfect. That's a big one. Yeah. See this? This? Oh, yeah. That's cute. <laughs> We've actually got a couple little jumpsuits for Chell. It's awesome. It's super cute. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome day. Goodbye. Whoa, damn, I gotta do that again. <laughs> saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm, heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do, and the best part is we're sharing it with you.